everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all say it with me two uh uh two more days into the sale the sale what's the sale essay yes where is it at bath and body works holla oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay so y'all, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my ultimate wish list from Bath & Body Works. From the rumors of what's supposed to be coming back, from what I wish to would come back. So, wait a minute. One thing, in my previous video, I forgot to mention Firecracker Pop in my recommendations. And I can't find my mist right now, y'all, because everything is in disarray from pulling stuff for these videos. So... I really do recommend that one for the sale. It was one of my favorites from the summer collection. Okay, on to my wish list. So I'm gonna start with some things that I haven't seen in years that I would really want to come back and then we'll go from there. So I have a soap from the Paris collection. This is Raspberry Rosé. I've been saving this soap forever. I'm getting ready to use it probably soon. I wish this collection would come back with the candles, with the soap, hand soap, and in body care. That was a wonderful collection and I wish they would bring it back. So if I see anything from that collection, it's on the off chance, you know I'm gonna be grabbing it. Okay, one other thing, uh, well not one other thing, I got plenty of things, but this is Twinkling Nights. This is the lotion. Now, I heard that it was supposed to be coming back, you know, doing my research and stuff. If it comes back, I want the mist. Do I want the... I don't think I need the shower gel, but I would get another lotion and two mists because this is... Frosted Jasmine Petals with Vanilla Mandarin Blossom. To me, it is the lightest, prettiest floral vanilla. It's so light and airy. It's, I just love it. Year round, I would wear this. So if it's at the sale like it's rumored to be, Shaughnessy will be buying it. Okay, so I'm going to share with you. This is from my phone. I went through and took pictures of everything, but I'm going to have it up on the screen. My number one thing, y'all, that would make my life complete, if I saw, <laughs> I can't even say it was straight face, but would make me so happy if I walked into Bath and Body Works on Monday and saw this scent. And that is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I got a cream in that. And all the mists were gone. I think, and I think I passed by that when I saw it a couple years ago at the sale and was, you know, just didn't really pay attention to it. And then I heard so much about it. So I went back and all I could get was a cream. I, and I loved that cream. And I used it up like that. I really wish they would bring back Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Another thing that would make me so happy, these were the top two that I'm getting ready, I'm sharing with you. The Amber and Argon. You remember that collection? They had Chestnut, Amber. I can't remember the other one, but Amber, somebody, a coworker of mine, get, gifted me a hand cream in that and I fell in love with it. And you know, that was, I just didn't rush to the store. So I was waiting for the sale and then I didn't see it at sale and I haven't seen it. I've seen different pieces here and there and uh, online and then I'll go to order it and it would be sold out. I wish they would bring that back. If they brought those two items back, I think I would be okay if I didn't get anything else because I want them so badly. Another one that I wish would pop up at a sale is Violet Plum. That was the prettiest plum scent. I used it up last year, I think. I love it. I wish they would bring that back also. Now, Confetti Cake Pop is rumored to come back along with Margarita Cupcake. Now, when I smell these in the store, I can't remember if this, I think this was pre-pandemic. I wasn't blown away 
I wanted it for the packaging, but I'd never let myself just buy something for the packaging, especially not if it's not on sale. And I just, I remember not loving, I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But I've regretted it ever since. So if it is on sale, if it's at the sale like it's rumored to be, it's 75% off, I will be picking up Confetti Cake Pop and Margarita Cupcake. More so Confetti Cake Pop. That was the one I was iffy about. Margarita Cupcake, if I remember, I did not... Did I like? I can't remember. So, y'all, but if I see it, I'm just going to grab it. Because it, especially 75% off because I've been wishing I had gotten them before. All right, so these are some of the new collections that's rumored to come out. I am so excited. It's on my wish list for strawberry soda. Y'all, I, I really want to smell that one. If I can remember correctly, it's supposed to be strawberry seltzer and ice are the notes that were that was listed and i just wonder if it's gonna smell like a fresh kind of like a soda pop like it said vibe to it unlike the the just regular strawberry that came out i wonder if this is gonna be with that bubbliness to it so i really want to uh get that Triple Berry Martini is supposed to be new that's coming out. I don't have the notes for that one. I'm interested in smelling it though. These are ones I want to smell in store and see if I want to get. But if they're 75% off, I might just grab a mist so in everything so I can test it out. And then if I like it, go and try to get lotions. Because to me, the main thing for me is the mist to, to have. Uh, tie-dye, pink tie-dye is supposed to be coming out. I can't remember the notes in that, y'all. I, I want to smell it. Um, Cotton Candy Clouds is the, is the same as uh, Boardwalk Taffy. Boardwalk Taffy is supposed to be coming back. So, you know, I think I said in one of my previous videos, I do want to get that because I love to wear it with love. Don't be shy. Uh, Miss Joanna shared these with me and, uh, Champagne sprinkles. The notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, rainbow sprinkles. I am so curious to see how that's going to smell. Is it going to smell gourmand? More gourmand or more bubbly, effervescent? I, I just, I'm so curious to see. So I really can't wait to smell that. Honeysuckle peach tea. The notes are honeysuckle blossom, juicy peaches, sweet tea. I don't have a lot of luck with loving peach fragrances but i do want to smell it because i've been loving the peach fragrances i do have but i don't have a lot of mists to i have two mists that i like with a peach note so i would like to have you know another peach in my collection cherry limeade y'all i love before i got into uh, my favorite drink from Sonic now is strawberry mango lemonade. Love it. But before that, it was cherry limeade. Cherry limeade was the first. Then I went to strawberry limeade. So I can't wait to smell cherry limeade. The notes are juicy red cherries, candied lime, sparkling citrus soda. I can't wait. Am I going to smell like one of my favorite Sonic drinks? I mean, I just can't wait. These sound so fun for summer so fun so i just i can't wait to smell it okay another one is candy violet sorbet and the notes in this are sugared violet petals vanilla sorbet blackberry swirl so let me tell y'all something i love violet the note of violets and fragrances i love me some vanilla and i love blackberry so i can't wait to smell this i just can't wait to see if I really like that, which I hope I do. So those were some of um, the items that are rumored to come back and that I have been longing for, like the Paris collection and the Amber Argon and the Boardwalk, not Boardwalk, yeah, Marshmallow Boardwalk. I have been, no, 
Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I always got the name wrong, but those I've just been, oh, I want them so badly. So some items that I know should be at the sale. Coconut Pineapple, I want to um, smell that one. I passed, I didn't even smell it, y'all, when I went and got the, the other stuff. So I want to smell it and see if I like it. Also, uh, it's rumored to come back uh, Bali Black Coconut. I passed on that for so many years, but then I had a shimmer lotion, oil, shimmer body oil. Loved it. So if it's 75% off, I would like to get the mist um, in it because I did enjoy the scent. One fragrance mist that's retired that I'm so interested in smelling is Wild Honeysuckle. Because it was another honeysuckle they had and I didn't like it at all. So even though they had the $6.50 sale and, you know, a couple times retired fragrance to sell, I just didn't, I didn't blind buy it. So I, I want it to be in the store so I can see if I like it. Because I just didn't want to buy it and didn't like it. Cashmere Glow is, um discontinued so i think i mentioned this in a previous video if this if it pops up at the store for 75 percent off i would love to get that raspberry tangerine i passed on it when it was in the beautiful beautiful packaging that was with that pink watermelon i had a scrub i used a scrub i enjoyed it i want raspberry tangerine but i don't want it in this packaging i don't like the packaging so I don't know if I like it or want it enough to get it in this packaging at 75% off. But if they had it in the packaging they had, I think, two SASs ago, I would definitely grab it. Velvet Sugar. I used that up either this year or last year. I can't remember. I want it back in my collection. I know that was going to be a repurchase for me anyway. But if it's at the sale in the store, I will go ahead and get it. Sunwash Citrus, I remember smelling that. Was it was bad with my mask? I can't remember exactly how it smells. I just can't. So same thing with Raspberry Tangerine. I would love it in the previous packaging to smell it and see what I think about it. Because I keep hearing people rave about those, but I remember not being blown away but that can change so i would like to test them out in the store so so my wish list to test out and then if i like it get it if it's in the right packaging if the wellness collection is on sale i want the pomegranate um body butter and i want the blueberry body butter and i want the pomegranate scrub and this coconut oil shaving oil y'all I need it in my life. It has five stars. All I hear people raving about it. They've been talking about it. I've been trying to get it. One day I thought I had it because they said in stock. But then by the time I push, you know, add to car, oh, we out of stock. So I hope it's there. Or even if it's not on sale, if it pops up somewhere, I'm getting that. I want it. Berry waffle cone. At first I said I, I didn't want the shower gel but i was watching somebody's video i can't remember and they said that the shower gel was the best in the line to them it was had more berries and was so pretty and like i've said and i think almost all my previous videos in our little um bath and body work semi-annual cell block party countdown we got going on over here they can do sweet gourmand shower gels like no other to me they're number one so far in my opinion so i think i want to get that one if they have any bar soaps from bath and body works i resisted and didn't get them during when they had some sale they had going on i didn't get bar soaps i got other stuff so if they have it on sale for 75 percent off i would like to get a bar some bar soaps from bath and body works a berry waffle cone at first, I was going to get the cream, the lotion, but then somebody told me to get the cream. I can't remember. So, I'm either going to get the cream or the lotion because I don't think, I don't think I'm going to get both. But we shall see. But I do need the lotion or cream in that. If For hand soaps, I'm not picky like I told y'all. But I saw that they had pink petal tea cake online. I love that. And I used my last one up. So, if they had that in the store on sale i would definitely grab it i'm hoping they do so for candles 
I'm not really picky. Well, no, I'll take that back. I don't go candle crazy. Their candles are expensive. I don't burn candles all the time. It's not that serious for me. But if I can see them at a discount, not even 75% off. Some of these, if they're 50, I would go ahead and get them because I really am interested in those, in these. And that's Pink Lemonade. I've heard everybody rave about Pink Lemonade. And then the main ones I wanted were in this collection. Like, I, I'm going to have pictures up, y'all. So, I'm not going to point. I'm looking at my phone because I don't know which side of the screen the picture going to be on. But, Wildberry Jam Donut. I can't remember if I smell that. But, if I saw it, I would smell it again because I love the packaging. But, I am very, extremely picky with those gourmand candles. I don't tend to love them. I, I, I don't. They have to be done to perfection for me to like them from Bath & Body Works, period, anywhere. I, I'm not a gourmand candle girl. I'm vanilla, but like what something came out, what's that candle people talking about? Something about cereal, cereal something. I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> I might smell it in the store, but that is not something that appealed to me just seeing the name. I was like, I don't want to be smelling cereal. Uh, pink apple punch is on my list. I like those fruity candles like that. Pink lilac and vanilla. The packaging is gorgeous. And I tend to like lilac and vanilla. So if I want that candle, this is the main one I want. Bubbly rose. I smelled that and loved it, but I just didn't pay. I didn't want to pay that price. And then when they had the candle sale, I was actually adding some of these to the cart, the eleven ninety five or whatever, but you couldn't pick it up in the store. And I was, um, no, you offer pick up in the store. Let me pick up the candle, but it was an online exclusive. So I passed strawberry pound cake. I don't think I've ever smelled that candle because at first, like I told y'all, I didn't like strawberry pound cake, but since I like it now, I want to smell it and see if I would like that scent in my room. So, because I like my room to smell like vanilla, kind of sweet or fresh when I burn a candle. So, I want to try strawberry pound cake and see. And y'all, I believe that, well, I have a few more that recommendations that I heard were supposed to be at this sale. So, Rose, which I, I guess I'll put the image up. I have one from a previous collection like three or four years ago, and I think it smells the same. They're, they're repackaging rose, so I think the old packaging is going to be on sale. I'm going to look and see which packaging I like the best because I'm not finished with the rose mist I'm trying to use up. So if it's packaging I like at 75% off, I would get it. If it's 50, no. Sunset Glow. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. It's supposed to be at this sale. So that means it's going away. Hopefully it will be retired. I mean, if Whip Vanilla Chiffon made it to a retired scent, I would think Sunset Glow would make the cut. But if not, I plan to get a backup of everything of that because I'm picky with cherry and that is a cherry I really, really love and receive compliments. You know, that always helps me want to say, let me keep that. Perfect Peony. I just purchased that. Now, these are rumors, you all. This is not, you know, concrete information. This is what I've heard from looking online at, um, why can't I remember her name now? She's on Instagram and from uh, Miss Joanna sharing things with me. And I watched Catherine's wish list video and her video was so superb professional i was like so if you haven't seen hers go check it out and she put some work and effort into that and i told her i applaud you girl i'm not there yet but yes it, it's so good so check hers out too so i heard that perfect peony was going to be i don't know if they're repackaging it or getting rid of it but it's supposed to be at the sale I just purchased everything I wanted from that line. I do recommend it if you like a floral scent. It's very nice. Um, and another one I heard mentioned was Mango Mai Tai. It's supposed to be a new scent they're coming out with. So I would like to smell it. 
I'm not obsessed with mango. I have one, I'm thinking, I think I have one mango fragrance mist because, you know, they don't do them often from Victoria's Secret. But I can't remember, was it the Sweet Collection? I think it was that Candy Collection. So I have it from there. I didn't get Mango Temptation, the one they brought back yet. Because I just had one order online from Victoria's Secret. Because, man, sometimes they be tripping. So, I, I just haven't gotten that one yet, but I'm interested in smelling this. And y'all tell me, I know this is bad than Body Works, but if somebody knows what Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale is, please let me know in the comments because I would like to do some videos and prepare, but I like the date, but I can't find out when it is. And the, the employees act like they don't know either, which I find suspect. So, but y'all, that's my wish list. And... I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what's on your wish list for this sale with these new collections that's being leaked that they're supposed to be there, fragrances that's supposed to be discontinued or repackaged, supposed to be on the Just tell me what y'all want to see. Y'all told you my ultimate wish list from things from years ago and from now. So tell me, y'all, what would you want to see at the sale what's your wish list please share this video with everyone who loves bath and body works and is ready to shop till they drop because we got two more days until the sale and please turn on your notification bell so you will never miss a video of mine but especially you don't want to miss out on the block party countdown to sas come on y'all who don't like to party so make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can come party over here with me talking about Bath and Body Works, okay? So y'all, as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.